Hi everyone. Let's take a look at number 17 on page 378. The vectors a, b, and c are such that vector a plus vector b plus vector c equals to a zero vector. Determine the value of vector a dotted into vector b plus vector a dotted to vector c plus vector b dotted to vector c if the magnitude of vector a is 1, the magnitude of b is 2, and the magnitude of vector c is going to be 3. Step number one, the key concept behind the given is right here. The three vectors, a, b, and c, when you add them up, equals to exactly zero. So naturally, the first step you would imagine would be something like this. There's a vector going to the right. <clears throat> There's a vector going somewhere like that and something like that. Now, this is a very common concept. A triangle adds up to be exactly zero by starting and stopping at the same point. But unfortunately, this is not how you solve this specific question. And the reason is because you have to look at these numbers, one, two, and three. So here's a mistake. If we gave you some popsicle sticks, such that one of them is gonna be one, the other one's gonna be two, the third one's gonna be three, it would be physically impossible to compose or form a triangle. So again, this is not how you do it. So what is the key concept behind number 17? Instead of thinking of a triangle, think of a straight line. What I mean is this. Imagine there's gonna be a vector, A, going to the right. Imagine there's another vector, B, which is going to the right again. Now notice the length. Right now, we're given the fact that the magnitude of A is going to be 1. The magnitude of B is going to be 2. So at this point, I would like you to press pause on the video. Think of a third vector such that when you add them up, it's going to be exactly 0. Welcome back, everybody. If you did it correctly, the third vector should look roughly something like this. And again, notice I didn't draw the vector right on top of each other. Ideally, that is kind of the way to do it, but you can't really see it if I just put it right on top. So I'm kind of putting it above. I hope this makes more sense. So now we solve the most important part. The three vectors, when added together, is going to be exactly zero. And this means if I'm looking for vector A dotted to vector B plus vector A dotted to vector C plus vector B dotted to vector C, this equals to, by definition, a dot b is going to be vector a, or the magnitude of vector a, times the magnitude of vector b cosine the angle between them. Now stick with me. When you think about the angle between two vectors, you always connect them tail to tail. So I'm going to erase this part for you. Now, tail to tail means if you think about a and b, and I'll draw them again here for you. A is right there and B is right there. So notice the angle between them, and I'll label this again for you, A and B. The angle between them is gonna be exactly zero degrees. Now likewise, if you think about vector A dotted to vector C, that's the magnitude of A times the magnitude of C cosine the angle between them. Now in this case, again, let's draw this so you can see, A is pointing to the right and C is pointing exactly to the other side. Again, let's label this. I'm going to draw this dot to kind of separate them, A and C. So the angle between them is going to be 180 degrees. Now, you can imagine the last part again, the magnitude of B times the magnitude of C cosine what? Again, press pause in the video, figure it out, and when you press play again, I'll be here. And welcome back again. If you're doing it right, the correct answer is 180 degrees. But just in case you don't see what I see, nobody should be left behind. So if I draw this out again, notice B is pointing right there. And C is going to point in the opposite direction. So again, B and C, and the angle between them is going to be 180 degrees, just like this one. So now the rest of this is very doable we're given the fact that the magnitude of A is going to be 1, the magnitude of B is going to be 2, cosine of 0, by the way, is going to be 1, plus 
the magnitude of one is, or the magnitude of A is one, the magnitude of C is gonna be three, cosine of 180 degrees is negative one, the magnitude of B is gonna be two, the magnitude of C is gonna be three, again, cosine of 180 is gonna be negative one. Now you can take the calculator, I'm gonna do some mental math, I'll even break it down to two steps for you. One times two times one is gonna be two, one times three times negative one is gonna be negative three, two times three times negative one is negative six, two minus three minus six is exactly negative seven. I hope this makes sense.